So, what do I do in my classes? Um, I've got an eye. I won't be fooled. So, if you stay, I'll tell you. But I'll make you laugh about it and show you how not to. Because I'm very interested in person to see what you do. That's why I hand out material in every class. It's, uh, it's not just, it's not a cold reading class, but there isn't as much of that around as there was when I started out uh, in California. We'd get five minutes of a script and boom, you had to go in there. So you would like memorize your first line and then when the other person was saying their line, you'd get down when the casting director or assistant was saying their line, you'd whiz down, get your line and come up and try to be in contact with as much as you could be. But you didn't get the script for very long a time ago, anyway. And, uh, but I, I still have, even though now it's changed, and you do get the script the day before, even, or even before that, and uh, not always. But um, the important thing about what I do with handing out material is I get to see what you first do when you look at material. What kind of mistakes are you making? Or what kind of good choices? Or what kind of surprising things are there about you? I'm looking very much to, first of all, cure any bad habits that you have. And if you do, sometimes they came from a lot of classes that you took that taught you real bad habits, like thinking in the left side of your brain and how to do it correctly. You don't want to be thinking that way. I want to find your creative reality and how do you plug into living life. I mean, how much of your day do you actually live? Now think about your day. How many meals have you had that you haven't really experienced? The whole acting approach to that I'm taking is you need to be having an experience when you are acting. And if you're not having experience when you're living, you're not used to experience at all. If I'm looking at an actor and he's not experienced anything, I know he's in deep trouble. I, if I were to title what I do, I, I would call it experiential acting. Um, maybe a little bit of Zen throwing in. I mean, you can't control anything, nor should you want to. I, I love that the Buddhists always say, you know, like, life without pain is not possible. Well, that's what Buddha said, and it's true. Well, acting without pain is not possible. So you need to be prepared for the pain and to live through it and enjoy it. There is, there is a very important aspect that I, you know, I want to see that you are plugged into things and these things are affecting you. Again, what it is, is what you're letting in. And you must be a constant exploratory device looking for new stuff. You don't want to be making choices. But that means that's the end. That's the trouble with a lot of these approaches, these dictums about how to approach acting, is they found the final truth. Well, Stanislavski never found the final truth, nor do I. I think if Stanislavski were around today, he'd be doing what I'm doing, looking for a new understanding. Every class I teach, I learn something new from you, the student. I am looking to understand this more each time I do it, whenever I'm working as an actor. I want to be a better actor next time. And I, I still work now and then when somebody finds me and sends me a project that I'm really interested in. Stimulate. So I'm writing, I'm directing, I'm editing a, a documentary now, right now that I shot of uh, my son Kristen's film, uh, It Is Fine, Everything's Wrong, which I also acted in. And he and I are working on a project that uh, would have the two of us playing four generations of family with him playing the younger version and me playing the older version of each character. And uh, we do it in the Czech Republic and it's a state there. And uh, again, what I'm looking for is what are you doing when you first look at material. Then I want to see if you are not exploring other areas of yourself. Are you find one safe little area to work in? Well, how do we kick you out of that safe area and get into stuff that's dangerous? I work because I was always dangerous. Uh, Mister, you're not supposed to be in here. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Dad is here. You know, I just wanted to show <laughs>
What the hell are you doing? Shit. Unfortunately, our cellar is rather poorly stocked with clarets. Mouton Rothschild is a claret. And I've smelt that after shave before, and both times I've smelt a rat. man's life, I suppose. Wet your whistle over her. What? A drink. Shot of rye makes every man's story go a mite easier. Well, I'll be a sake mule. <laughs> no keys. <laughs> oh, you got a popcorn. Maybe a lot of that is because I did so much summer stock. So I can go anywhere I need to go, and it makes the character a possibility. But I want to push you in that direction. Find the things that you're afraid of, and maybe those are the areas where you're going to end up working. I'm also developing demos in class. Uh, if you bring me material, I want to look at what material you already have and see what's working for you. Most of the time, I want to cut out the other actors that are in your speech and get as much to a close-up of you. I'm even working on people doing close-ups in class. Uh, one minute or less monologue that can be put on the demo. So you can do, maybe in a minute, four interesting acting things that make a person believe they can make money on it. And that's what agents are interested in. They want to make money. And yeah, sure, they have artistic things and they want to find great talent. And, but it's money. If you can't make money for people, you're not going to work in business. My goal wasn't to become a member of some group. My goal was to work in support my family and support my kid and send him off to his own career. It's important that you are in a process of constant growth. Uh, if I'm not learning something every day, I feel that day is wasted. So I learn something every day. And this is what acting must be for you. It must be a process that goes on constantly for you. And when, we, when, we, when I look at you, I want to find out what it is. It doesn't mean that you know, you've made a total failure if you don't end up working in business. I mean, art is about, you know, understanding yourself better and 
getting to a place where maybe you get into some other other area of business. Sometimes I've had students, you know, get back and say, you know, I found, you know, the acting helped me, and now I'm doing this. Or the acting helped me, and that was great. I, mean, I love that. But obviously, I, I want to see you succeed as much as you possibly can. And uh, you know, by doing that, uh, I'm going to feel really happy. So. What I do is I hand out material, I push you, I look and see what problems you're in, I try to help you develop your videos and stuff, I try to keep you away from spending a lot of money on photography and photographers who just rip you off like crazy. It's not the photos, it's what can you do as an actor. If you spend more than $200 for a photo session, you're being taken advantage of. Take your own photos. Go out with friends where you're going to be alive and, and having activity going. I, I, you know, I'll take pictures of you in class if you bring a camera. I want to get sure. Uh, you want a photo that is the moment something is happening. Too many photos are like something was happening a moment ago and something will happen in the next moment. We're in between that moment. That's what most photos are. They're all worried about the lighting. They have way too much clothing on, a lot of distraction. You want a close-up of your brain so they can see into your eyes and see something going on inside your head. Nothing's going on inside your head uh, when you're taking a photo. Nothing's going to be going on inside your head when you're acting. It's uh, saying your name is sometimes a very dangerous thing. Say your name. And sometimes you say your name is a defensive posture. I want to take away all your defenses so you're not afraid of anything. Take the pain. It's a painful business and dangerous, and that's what can happen. But I want you to be successful. So call me. Uh, I charge uh, I charge different prices. One, um, I charge $50 for a single class. I let people do that. Some people can only afford a class once a month. But if you do it that way, you get four classes for $200. But if you pay me $200 up front, you get five classes. If you come up with $400, you get 11 classes. And I'll even, if you're serious about this, I'll even let you give me a little incremental payment for that. I want you to get as best a bargain as you can. So, call me, 310-398-2539, anytime.